And hey there, it's me, Mudlink, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Last time, we finally got ourselves a bar the barracks, as well as, you know, seeing other merchants. We can forge weapons, buy weapons, all that. We also had to do a defend map. We got Ileana, who's just an awful, awful unit. And, um, yeah, actually, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, this time we're going to be fighting along, so we're going to be heading towards <laughs> heading towards Gallia <laughs> with Leth and Mordecai. Two Lugus that we uh, encountered last time and that saved our lives. So anyway, let's go. Despair and Hope is done. Now chapter 9. Aptly titled Gallia. Good morning, Ike. May I have a moment of your time? What is it I'm listening? Our expenses, our ability to fight, the current status of our troops, these are all things that you must know. I see, having a grasp of that is part of the commander's job too, right? Understood, let me hear it. Very well. Oh, I should have... Oh, I was, I'm gonna do a little game. Guess the MVP uh, in the beginning of like each... Uh, after every chapter. So, boy, does the MVP here. I'm actually a bit surprised about that, not gonna lie. I was expecting Titania to be the MVP. That's it. I think I've got the most of, I've got most of it. I'll give you a report before each battle. I hope that helps. I'm sure it will. Thank you. I'm relying on you for all the details. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Commander. I'll do my best. But if I have your leave, I must be going. Your support. Yeah, there you go. Ike and Soren. Tania and Norris. Uh, no, even... There's not many other supports I'd really get. Besides the one with like Ike. Actually, I can't get the one with Ike. And there's info here, with a whole bunch of it. Then I'm gonna go to the shop and sell the red gem. So on, here's your thunder tone. Fuck you, Liliana, get him give everything back. I'm gonna forge a weapon actually. I'm gonna forge a sword for Mia or an axe for Boyd. A sword for Mia. She I'm not even gonna. She has a sword for Mia. Iron sword. You know, I'm not even gonna bother forging right now. So I guess I'll just uh, check out the supports. I can soar and see support. So that's how much we spent. Supplies are running low. We need dried meat, fresh fruit. Ike, are you listening? Huh? Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I would have never guessed. Sorry, Soren. Look, could you run the report by me again? You're tired, Ike. You need rest. Go find a cod somewhere. You can tell? Of course. When you're not feeling well, your left eye twitches. That's odd. I never noticed. Get some sleep. I can imagine. I can manage things for a few hours. Well, I am pretty beat. Go. You know, Soren, you're not nearly as insensitive as the others say. Deep down, you're a big softy. Excuse me. Oh, nothing. I'm going. Mm, don't let the bed bugs bite. How are you feeling, Riss? Good. No fevers or shaking today. Thanks for asking. You know, I was just thinking about the first time we met. It was almost a year ago to this very day. Was it really? Oh, you're right. My, my does time fl this time. My fi time does fly. I can't talk, I guess. Of course. I don't remember much of the initial encounter but since I was unconscious and bleeding. <laughs> remember that? I don't know why we didn't bring a healer with us that day. Fighting bandits without a staff? Not smart. I was. It was lucky that I found you. I didn't usually venture in that deep, that deep into the forest, but I was short on medicinal herbs. Yeah, those bandits were a rough lot. Their stomping ground was right near your village, actually. 
It's all coming back to me now. They were tougher than I'd thought. We took most of them out with ease, but one fled into the woods and I gave chase. Big mistake. My horse got hung up in the undergrowth and that bandit got the drop on me. At least Shinon hit him before I was killed. Gatri and Shinon were both really worried when they brought you back to my parents' house. Really? I didn't know that. Hmm. I didn't think Shinon had ever worried about anyone. But they stayed with me until my wounds were healed. I remember that. You know, if it wasn't for your good work, I wouldn't have been able to use an axe anymore. I really appreciate it. No, I should thank you. You're con you're, you, con you convinced Grail to hire me, and now I can send money back to my parents. They're both so old and I'm, the and, I'm and I'm their only source of income. Your parents were very kind, especially your mother, and she made that great wild berry pie. To repay their kindness, kindness, I will protect their only son no matter what. Oh, I appreciate tit that, Titania. Anyway, now time for the info. Soren. Hmm. What's wrong, Soren? Are your preparations complete? Yes, everything's ready. You have only a few robes and musty books. I'm taking a bit less, but it looks like as though you travel light as well. The burden of unnecessary items is something I detest. Me too. We're alike in that way, aren't we? Hmm. What is it? You've got that worried look again. Well, um, it's nothing. Never mind. Everyone's really slow, aren't they? Shall I go and see what's taking them? Soren, don't worry about it. Hmm? Sitting here in the morning in the sunlight, it helps me to understand. I'm alive. I have trustworthy friends. That's how I can. That's how I know I can go on. I just hope I'm not fooling myself. No, you're not. You're not. Well, then it's business as usual. I know we have. We'll have troubles, and but let us set our so shoulders straight and get on with it. Understood. I missed. Ah, Ike. Good morning. Hmm. Morning. Are you all right? If I said I were, I'd be lying, but I'm doing my best. Yesterday I was so confused. Then I awoke this morning, I saw the blue sky, felt the sun on my face, and thought, I'm alive. The sunlight was so warm. I mean, it's always warm, but for some reason it made me want to cry. Oh, mist. It's up to us. We must live the fullest lives we can. We have to live for mother and for father. We mustn't dishonor their memory. So um, I, may think I may think about them, and I may cry every now and then, but I'll carry on. You're right. Everything you said is right. We'll carry on, we'll carry on together. Right. Oh, sorry. I have to get. I have to hurry and get ready. I'll see you later, brother. Yes. Look at the time. Get a move on, will you? All right, three more. Hey. Good morning, Ike. How are you feeling today? Yesterday's battle was a rough one, wasn't it? I ask her. Yeah. I'm sore all over. Every muscle in my body hurts. Hopefully, I'll feel better after I move around for a while. I hope for the same. When I woke up, it was all I could do. All I could, it was all I could do to get out of bed. We're truly lucky to be alive. If those two beast fighters hadn't arrived when they did, we might have been all we might have all been wiped out. Yeah. Like I can't say I know what you're going through or how you feel, but you should try to remember all that happened last night. The men we fought were professionals. Well trained and under the command of a cunning tactician, but not invincible. You're saying they follow certain rules, specific patterns? Yes, I see. If I can learn what what they are, they can they become vulnerable. The next time we meet, we won't lose. Huh. <laughs> What's that what? For an instant there, looking at you was looking at Commander Grail. I'm his son, I'm supposed to look like him, aren't I? I wasn't that, and it wasn't an aura or a hunch or anything like that. I don't know what to call it, it was more like the core of your character. I felt the same as his. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, that must have sounded pretty stupid. Oscar? Commander? From now on, when I practice, would you join me? I would, I would, I would be more familiar with the fighting style of knights. Of course, if there's anything I can do to help, you need only you need only to ask. Two more. Oh, boss, morning! <laughs> Good morning, are you ready to go? All set. Doesn't matter how long, I, how late I go to sleep, I'm always bef awake before the sun rises. I can leave whenever. Um, I'm sorry, you know, for everything that's happened, it's all so sudden. Oh, it's nothing, but it's been rough on you, hasn't it? I could say the same to you. It can't have been easy joining a band of wanted mercenaries and fighting every day. Oh, it's not so bad. You were forced to join us by the whims of fate, not by chance, not by choice. I know my father said you had a debt to repay, but he's not here anymore. If you want to leave, I won't stop you. Um, uh, ah, uh, what, ah, uh, what, oh, times, times like this, I never have any idea of what I'm supposed to say, none. Um, darn, hold on, yesterday, in the middle of that giant mess, you didn't give up, boss, and I knew. That is how a true man lives, so now I have to follow you, you see? I think so. That's my story, boss, so do me a favor and don't tell me to get lost, I'm good to have around, you'll see. That's how you feel? I guess I understand, I'm counting on you, don't let me down. Never, I wouldn't know how. I'm too stupid to know how. <laughs> Ike, are you prepared? Can we depart soon? It's taking more time than I thought. I'm sorry for making you wait. I see. Then I will talk with you as we wait. My words, are they well? Can you understand them? Sure, no problem. I understand you. 
That is good. Mordecai is not so good with this language. What language do you normally use? With others of my tribe, I need no words. I say all that I must with gestures and with... How do you say? Growls? That sounds convenient. Yes, but our tongue does not let us talk to other tribes. That is not good. That is why we learn these modern words. Oh, I would think that would be enough, being able to speak with only your friends, wouldn't it? It is not. If there is danger or conflict, we can use words to avoid a fighting that need not be. So using words that many can hear is good. I'm using words to avoid unnecessary fighting. That's one way to think about it. That's, that's kind of neat. That's kind of cute. I like that. Anyway, bonus experience. Uh, Boyd is like literally one point. I'm just going to give it to him. HP skill speed lock. There we go. Boyd is being... He's a zoomy boy. And I'll... Eh, why not? I'll give up. I'll give some experience to, uh... To, to Soren. Strength, magic, skill, res. There you go. Now he doesn't get weighed down by wind domes. Or by the wind tome. Because other wind tomes cost, like, way more, obviously. Anyway, I'm gonna... Yeah, do that. And now we're gonna leave the base. 11 minutes for base, that's for base stuff, that's, that's neat. This place brings back such memories, it hasn't changed in the slightest. T -t 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 Titania, have you been to Gallia before? A long time ago, when I was still a knight of Crimea, I volunteered for a military officer exchange program and spent some time studying at Gallia's royal palace. I get it now, that's why you weren't surprised when we saw the Lugus. That's right, I have missed the sea. When the setting sun strikes the water, it's almost as though the fi horizon itself is on fire. Hmm, now that I think about it, my father know, knew where that old castle was. He sure acted like someone who'd been to Gallia before. Was he here with you? Mm-hmm. And we weren't the only ones. You've been here too, Ike. What? I Ike? It's Mordecai. You better answer him. Yeah, but... We can finish our talk later, after we reach the castle. Oh, well, that was cryptic. Where is it, Mordecai? Do you tire? Should we rest here? No, I think we're all right. Good. Bjork are such a weak species. Are such a weak species. A distance like this is nothing. Any Lagoos worth his claws could cross it in a single bound. Leth. It is the truth. If you persist in this way, you will shame the king. You sound like a fool. You're my subordinate. Never speak to me in such a way. What's wrong is wrong. You are a fierce warrior, Leth. But when it comes to the Bjork, you are far too stubborn. What did you say? Come on now, both of you. Let's calm down. Mordecai? Wait. What is it? The smell on the wind. It's iron. It is the smell of weapons, the smell of Bayark. Heavily armored, well armed. Are you sure? General Kotov. The Crimean mercenaries have entered our area of operations. <laughs> They're trapped. Call every last man, ready for battle. We'll stop the enemy here. We're at Fort Tatano right now. Black armor, they're day and men, all right. You're saying some, that some of the invasion force is still around? Day and worms, they strut about the Galleon forces as, as though they own them. I won't stand for it. Or the castle to the south. Many Bjork are inside. They carry iron weapons. I smell them. Not good. Titania, gather everyone together. Ha, huh. understood. What now? What do you mean? If you hope to crush the worms, you do well to capture the ruins in the south. Since you probably want to flee, there is an escape route. We're going to fight. Oh? There are times when running has its advantages, but I don't think we'll lose here. I see. I will also fight. Good, we could use the help. Ike, everyone's here. Alright, let's go. I want you two to take mist and roll from retreat to the rear. Of course. We're counting on you. Be careful. Everyone who can fight, grab a weapon. Real mercenaries, move out. Okay, so now I got to... Oh, my fucking controller. Uh, motherfucker. There we go. There's the seas, there's also here. There's two villages here we have to go to. There's a pirate here with a venom axe, so we can send some people there. You can even cross in through here if you want to, but it's not too great. That's not too good to do. 
Tears Kotov, he drops an arm scroll that increases the um, weapon the weapon rank of the uh, of the weapon you equip. So for example, if you want to like rank up Soren's Thunder Magic like that, you can just equip a Thunder Tome and then get there you go, D rank in Thunder right away. Without any investment in it. Which is probably what I'm gonna do. Or maybe I'll sell the iron scroll, I don't know. Anyway. Mm, I'll have Sworn go down here, I guess, so. Mia's gonna come up here. Oh, wait. Uh, Eliana, get out of there. Boyd can come up here. Oscar, Tadini, and I can go down. Sworn and Riss are gonna go up here. Okay, I think that's fine here. Anyway, uh, as you can see, Leth and Mordecai are. Yellow units or green units, usually. Well, yellow units. Ike! Mist, you and Wolf's clear out of here. Stay back, no matter what. No, Ike, we're gonna fight with you. Both of us. What? No, that's not gonna happen. Be serious, Mist. The two of you can't even wield weapons. I've got this. A heal staff? Yeah, I made Wrist teach me how to use it. I can heal injuries. I mean, just little ones, but still. Little ones? No, there's no way I'm letting you go on this battlefield. Huh? Rolf, stop being such a brat, you little twerp. I'm going to fight too. I'm good with a bow. Really, that's news to me. Is that the best lie you can come up with? It's no lie. That's right, he's not lying. Of course he is. What are you talking about, Mist? Rolf's always practicing with his bow, and he's really good, aren't you? I sure am. And when did you learn to use a bow? Well, let's see. Um, I guess I just sort of picked it up naturally. Stop lying, you booger-eating brat. You, just, you can't just pick up a weapon and start firing away. Someone has to teach you the basics. Well, maybe I'm just a prodigy, because prodigy, I learned it all myself. You little... You don't know anything about... You don't know anything, Void. That's that's right. This is ridiculous. Enough, you two go back. No, we don't want to. All oh, Rolf and I do is sit and wait and, and worry about all of you. We're tired of waiting. We want to fight by your side. Is that so? How about it, Rolf? Is that how you feel too? Uh-huh, no doubt. We'd rather be with you. <sighs> what now, Commander? We take them with us. We are too pressed for time to sit around here bickering. And at least if they're nearby, they'll be easier to protect. Are you serious? Yes, we won't you won't regret this, Ike, I promise. I hope not. Anyway, yep, we got Mist and Rolf on our team, and huh, here's Mist. So Mist, as a healer, is she's a healer, so she, her stats don't really matter all too much, except for her magic stat. She has a good magic growth, at least, a horrible base. Comes with Miracle, which is I don't remember how Miracle works in Path of Radiance, and I don't actually. Let me just look it up right here. Miracle. We had the we had the miracle um, scroll, but we never we were selling that. Okay, and Path of Radiance. If oh, it's a luck percent chance. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, it's in genealogy. It's in genealogy and Thracia where it's really at its best. And I guess technically three houses, but I don't want to talk about three houses miracle. <laughs> I don't want to talk about three houses miracle. So anyway, yeah, overall, um, Mist is just there as a healer. I will say, though, uh, I think it's for the best if you... You don't even need to, like, train her up that much. You can save bonus experience for her to level her up, but at least get her to level 10. Getting her to level 10 is the most important thing. Uh, I don't remember how long it takes for that to happen, for, for, for like, when... Let's see, uh, fuck. Well, either way, just you can level her up with bonus experience. You don't really need to give her too much experience from healing, so it's fine with her. Overall, she's just eh. But she she does make up for it a bit later, as you'll see. But not by much. She's about as good as as uh, Riss. Anyway, next we got. <coughs> Sorry. I gave the Halloween Rolf just cause. Anyway, yeah, Rolf's fucking awful. He's like, I'm a prodigy, and look at his fucking base stats. Oh my god, he is fucking awful. He is completely awful. Oh yeah, Mist and Ike have, uh, I think it's a 10% avoid bonus when they're next to each, when they're near each other, when they're next to each other, I believe. And Vashine on here, it's 5% crit, I believe. So yeah, Rolf, he has his own personal weapon. It's it's a neat weapon. 
but overall, uh, it's uh, he's not a good unit. Like he just look at these, just look at these base stats. That's all you need to know. Like holy shit, <laughs> he is so fucking awful. That's all I really have to say. Yeah. So, anyway, bring Mia down here. Bring. I guess Rolf can help with chip damage. That's the best he can do. But even then, chip damage isn't too helpful in this game. Shove Mia down there. Uh, she'll bring. Uh, I'll have to bring Icon Sword in here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, shit. Well, it's too late for that. You can direct the yellow units with Ike, so you can like do that, make them do whatever you want. Uh, we won't talk about these two uh, for now. They they do join you, but they don't join you this chapter. Shove you down here. Okay, here you go. Now they transform. We won't talk about how they work. We'll talk about how they work another time. Okay, seven damage. Ow, Jesus! You have a steel, a steel axe. That's why it does so much damage. Son of a bitch! Anyway, yeah, you're dead. There's a crit there. Hey. By the way, what is it? If there is some special task you would ask of us, you're, you're willing to li we're willing to listen. What are you talking about? But open your ears. If you wish it, we shall follow your orders. Now, but you must direct us. Really, you're willing to take orders from me? This is the Bjork fight. If you don't direct us, then we have no reason for being here. So spoke our king. But last night, night, last night, you that that was an emergency. We thought you were in danger. You thought correctly. You were in danger. I thank you. We are greatly aided by your arrival. You are welcome. Hmm. Very well. We will let us fight together. If you choose not to direct us, we shall do as we please. Do you find this acceptable? Of course. Well then, good fortune to us all. I'll have them halt for now. Well, wait where you are. I'll get you back to you in a while. Yeah, you can direct and then move again. So much fucking damage! Sword here. Ouchie. Dead. And just yeah, one shot you here. Shit. Well, twenty-two damage. Oh, you, you can live a single hit, but Guys, just go for Rolf, and you know, I'll be fine. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, cheese. Yeah, yeah, bonus experience requirement. You need to complete this in eight turns or less.
Okay, so I just have to check something. Uh, up for you and then I guess Rolf's gonna get a kill here because yeah oh no he can't because he just sucks that much okay there you go there you go Mia let's level up for you what what level you up are you gonna get strength and speed strength speed luck and res a that's my girl Of you. Oh shit, you can actually attack me. Missed. Uh, it's just 7 res. Do 4 damage. Even if you do. Oh, you don't double her, but like. Yeah, I'm fine here. Target here. Move out for the target area. Then. Let's give you a vulnerary. It's like, oh, look at me, my weapons are about to break. It's fine. I can get her more weapons for next chapter. Decided to go for why? Okay. Okay, Oscar level up. Ow. Damn Oscar. <laughs> Get strength, please. Oh fuck, wait, you need only to Ugh. Oh shit, you start from there. Let's see now, where are they? Aha, I found them. Ah oh, shit. Uh... Too late, no. Crit, please. Dang it, there we go, Rolf. Damn, I can't shove him. Oh, man. In that lower village, it was a okay. It was a restore staff. Uh, I think I'll kind of need that. Uh,
Okay. There we go. Level 10. Strength, magic, speed, and defense. Magic, of course. Start the chapter though, just to get the restore staff. HP strength, speed. Oh my god, of course you get an amazing level up right as I say I need to restart. That's fine, you can attack Mordecai, that's completely fine. This, you do nothing to him. Now he's transformed, you guys are fucked. Okay, Iron Axe broke, now the Steel Axe is gonna break. be dead. Yeah, I know you what you are. Absolutely are. I'll just restart now, hang on. Alright, I'm back. This time, I was able to reach that bandit on time. He's gonna die next turn. Yeah. And you're dead. Got a skill, speed, and defense level up. Still no strength, man. Oh, there you go, Adept. Wasn't expecting that. I was gonna get the kill to Oscar, but fine. So I should have a decent amount of avoid here. I'm gonna shove you. Okay. Left should kill the archer, yeah. I think yeah. 
Uh, Oscar will be fine. Especially since they're gonna go after Mordecai. Which is fine, fill up a gauge. Ouchie. Okay, there you go, Marcy is back here. She's just gonna have to reach us. She's gonna reach us soon anyway, so it's fine. Alright, that uh, guy is dead. I guess. I guess he's gonna be useful for Chip. <laughs> Wags of the sea are we. We fight like beasts and men do flee. We are not gold with axes bold. Yar, you scurvy bull trap. What? Why aren't you singing? Har over there, Nadada. Fix your eyes on that. Do you see what I sees? Oh ho ho! What's this then? Humans battling humans here in Gallia. What in the briny beard of Shanti Pete is going on? Oh, do you think they may be the king's curs out to capture us and claim the bounty? Gahar. Shall we unfurl the main sail and steer for calmer waters? Bite your tongue, you kelp brain, brain idiot. We're pirates. We don't turn tail from government scum. I'm going ashore. Watch me and you'll see a true sea dog in action. Yar, well said. You've set me blood a boil. I'm with you all the way, matey. Or let's see what we can see then. Yar, me axe is sharp and me spirit is bold. Yar, har, ho. Yo, ho, har. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Fucking love that little exchange there. Oh wait, Rolf, stay by my side. You got it. Hold a minute. That was too easy. What's going on? Nothing, but if I'm close to you, I can protect you, so you don't need to worry. Hey, that's my line. Please hit. Thank you. Them down to one health. I gotta get to those two places of 
Okay, Marcia. Uh, eight move one, two, six, seven, eight. Still not enough. Okay, yeah. Oh, dump. there you Phase. There you go, Mordecai transforming. Yeah, there you go. One shot that mage. Now I think the, now the reinforcements are gonna show up. Yikes. Okay, you're not gonna die in one round, but you're gonna get close. There's all those enemies. Okay, javelin. Yeah, fuck. Well, it doesn't quite kill them in a single round. That's fine. Build up my fire rank now instead of thunder right now. Baby, can't talk. Okay. Not a lot for Soren. What are you gonna get? What are you gonna get? Magic and speed. Magic skill, res, damn it. Still 11 speed, still not. Still good. Okay, full heal up myself. And then you're gonna. Talk to me anyway, so one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Here. That guy there has a hand axe, right? That's what it's yeah, okay. Oh shite. Level 11, HP, Strength, Skill, Speed. Okay, everything will be fine. Just gonna... Go here. Damn it, Leth. That's fine, Leth's gonna survive. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, ooh, uh, ooh, that might have a bit of trouble here. Ah. Oh, no, 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 Okay, good. The mage doesn't move. Oh, yeah. I love this song. I'm just gonna let it play out a bit longer. My favorite recruitment theme in Fire Emblem, not gonna lie. Anyway, Ike, you're, you're that. 
That's right, it's me, Morrissey. As promised, I'm here to pay my debt. I'm gonna join your group. Join us? But I thought you were one of the holy knight Be Pegasus Knights of Begneon. I resigned. So what do you say? Are you gonna let me in or what? Come on. Are you sure about this? I mean, I'll be honest with you. We're a destitute band of mercenaries. Your wages will be a pittance compared to what you're used to. So what? Are you gonna? Are you saying no? No, I'm simply pointing out that you'll be losing almost all of. I won't lose out on anything. Plus, I work twice as hard as anyone else. Come on, please let me join. Please. Well, if that's what you want, I guess we'll give it a shot. We're short-handed though, so you're gonna be busy. Huzzah! That's great. Just tell me what needs going. What needs doing? More pirate reinforcements. Gonna get. You're from Carmi, aren't you? I'm a warrior of the Beast Tribe. Lord Reynolds spoke of you. Dallas, you have noticed that Lord the Fort Tatana has been taken by Dayan forces. Watch your step around that bunch. There's a d dangerous mage among them. We of the Beast Tribe find magic, and especially fire magic, particularly threatening. I'm waiting for friends and cannot leave. take leave of this house, but I would give you this. If you use it, your magical resistance will increase. It will help you fight that mage. Take care. Oh, there's a talisman. Okay. here. Get you the fuck away. Get you over here. Uh, oh yeah, now we gotta talk about Marcia. So here's Marcia finally joining us. You have to talk to her in chapter 3 for her to join up here, as you can tell. And uh, yeah, Marcia is really fucking good. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. Anyway, so yeah, Marcy is here. Comes with a good, really good bases. It's a flyer, so it's obviously really good. So it has the super, same super canto as uh, as the normal other mounted units, and comes with the Pegasus band, which gives plus five percent to luck and to her luck and resistance growth, which doesn't matter. It's like two stats are worthless. Oh, I can actually sell this. I can sell these worthless, these worthless bands, like the bands that don't give any good stats, like for four thousand gold. Hmm. Maybe I should do that. Yeah. So yeah, Marcius is there to like attack, move back. That was that's always great to do. Plus, yeah. Plus she's you know super cute. So why not? Why not use her? Why not use her? But yeah, overall, yeah, she's just a fantastic unit to use. I'm gonna bring her up here. It's kinda too late for that anyways. Go here. Okay, direct target here. should be fine. Hopefully. Don't die on me, Swarm. Probably won't. But, uh, be careful just in case. Scallywags of the CRV. We earn our gold with Axe's Bolt. You don't double him, that's for sure. Yeah. That was a crit. Uh, oh shit, I think I just fucked up here. Uh, don't die on me, please. Oof. God damn it. Hang on. Oh shit, forgot to show off the dialogue for them. 
whatever. It's fine. Taking, getting a, giving a fucking hit for once. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, dang it, you don't double that guy. It's fine. is back with us, hell yeah. Okay, Oscars, don't just get a HP level up. Strength, magic, skill, speed, there you go, magic. Okay, everything's fine now. Dead. Dead mage. Oh shit, they can attack Soren. Uh, that's fine, one of them can attack Soren. Soren will be fine. It, sh it depends, damn it. Strength and speed on me, uh, please, for the love of God. It's be skill defense. Damn it, not even I. Don't, none of them. You got none of them. Oh, suck my cock. Turns ago was this. Uh, come on. Okay, I'm back. Okay, let's. 
Yeah, you're fine, yeah. Just... Okay, so I guess... Things still doesn't... I guess this can just kill him, wherever. Magic, of course. Sorry about that. garbage anyway, so who cares? Death of the rogues defy day and defend our brethren, erase their shame. Strength and speed. It's HP, speed, luck, and res. Close. Okay, six. Oh, okay, no, you're alive. You're, you're good. You can survive this. She don't tell them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to shove two more times. So that's enough, yeah. count anyways. Okay, level up for our Soren. Magic skill luck. Okay, please. Thank you. Oh, he would have killed me then. Uh, well, good thing I didn't get hit. <laughs> Which you skill luck res. That's fine. You're still good, avoid.
One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, I have to shove again next turn. That's fine. You easily do that. It's so always 20 bonus experience for repairs. Wait, no, 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 don't move. Bruce doesn't get doubled by the soldier, please no, please no. Okay, there's the boss, it's fine. Don't get doubled. Don't get doubled. And whatever, I've missed. <laughs> Fuck you, Riss. Holy shit, man. Okay, level up for Titania. HP, skill, speed, and res. able to shove him now. Losing this. Ugh, man. That kinda sucked. Whatever. Bonus experience, that's fine, it's completely fine. I can kill this guy here. Good. Another level of strength and speed, strength and speed, strength and speed. HP strength, you know what? Fine. At least with Riz dead, I can. I think I have the the men goes to this, the convoy. Okay, now we gotta see this. We defeated their commander, but we still don't know what they're after. It seems unlikely that they were merely pursuing Princess Alencia. 
I wonder if Dayan is planning to invade Gallia. Perhaps Crimea was only a, a stone in which to wet their blades. No matter the motive, the fact that remains that Dayan crossed the board. Under such circumstances, hostilities between Dayan and Gallia could break out at any time. So it's war. Again. War erupts between the Bayark and Lagoos. It's only a matter of time before other nations become involved. Could Dayan truly mean to set the land aflame in a blaze of war? If that happens, many of our citizens will be sacrificed on the altar of their ambition. I'm sorry about that. We too need to choose which way to move, whose side to take. Whose side? We shall never support Dayan. Unthinkable. Captain Titania, we are human. Would you truly have a side with, sub with Lagoos against other humans? That is unthinkable. Bjork and Lagoos. Are you going to sit here and argue about a war that hasn't started? You Bjork are so timid, it's pathetic. Leth, you must not say such things. Mordecai Leth, what do you think? Will it come to war? Our claws are sharp. If Dane invades Gallia, we're ready for battle. If our king wills it, war will come. I like it not. War brings pain, sorrow. This is troubling. We have enough, we have lost much time. Let us make for the palace. We must reach tonight's camp before the sun sets. Is the palace still far? On your skinny Bjork legs, it is very far, but we will do as we can. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. My lord Ike, everyone! Princess Alencia, I heard about Commander Grail. I, I don't know what to say. Don't worry, we're alright. We're getting by. Somehow. Oh, Ike. The king has arrived. Um, hey there. Thank you for coming to Gal Gallia Palace. I am the Lion King. I can't say the fucking name. Ruler of the Kingdom of Gallia. These are the Grail mercenaries. I am Ike, their commander. You have been raised well, young pup. I didn't recognize you. What? When last you were here, you were still a small child. Is that you, Titania? It's good to see you. The pleasure is all mine, your majesty. You two are friends. How, how does the king know me? Hmm, I have something I must tell you about your father, Grail. Leth, Mordecai, leave us now. Prepare room so our guests may have a place to rest and heal their wounds. At once, my lord. Would it be best if I were to leave as well? No, princess, I would have you stay. And this one also will stay. This is Gifgot, my shadow. Pay him no more heed than you would the heir. Understood. I would have Titanian and Soren stay with me. As well. Me? So be it. Now then. Or to begin. Titania, how much did Grail tell his son? Ike was raised with no knowledge of G Galia whatsoever, nor does he recall ever having been there. Is that so? Then it is best for me to tell him all that I know. Although that is not much. That's alright. Whatever you can tell me would be much appreciated. I want to know more of my father. <laughs> you have good eyes. Honest and brave. I see your father in them. Long ago, Grail, your father, worked as a mercenary for Gallia. We forged a strong bond, he and I. Speak truly. I still do not trust the Bjork, but your father was different. Okay, I'm sorry. Princess Alencia's father, King Ramon, and his brother, Lord Renning, are also of a different kind. All are, or were, exceptional men. Men in whom one could put his trust. Oh, Titania, you are an exception as well. Among Bjork females, you are unique. You are most gracious, your majesty. My father was a mercenary for Gallia? Correct. And you and your sister? You were both born here in Gallia. You stayed only for a short time, but part of your childhood was spent within these borders. Miss Knight were born here? Is that so? I don't remember any of this at all. I feel your parents were carrying a dark secret. Someone was hunting them, I'm sure of it. Once, over ten years ago, and after your mother had been slain, your father chose to leave Gallia. Before he left, I went to him and asked him to share his tale. I asked him, why are you being chased? Is there anything I can do to help? But I was unable to loosen his tongue. But then I had heard he'd return to Gallia, and I thought I had another chance to hear his tale. His fate was black indeed. If I had been faster, if I had hasted my steps, perhaps things would be different. Wait, now I understand. The voice I heard, that was you, wasn't it? His wound was fatal. I could do nothing. I thought it best not to interfere in his final moment, so I remained hidden. Tell me, Ike. At, la at his last, did he confess anything to you? The identity of the Black Knight, did he reveal it? The Black Knight? No, I don't know who he was. My father entrusted me with his command, told me to trust King... The Lion King and to live peacefully in Gallia. He said to forget everything else. 
Is that so? Well then, let me do as I can. But if a mercenary's desire to live here, I will so arrange it. I will vouch them... I'll vouchsafe them homes and land. Your kindness is truly appreciated. But speaking for myself, I couldn't live here in peace. Not now. I will avenge my father. I cannot so quickly forget the past, or the Black Knight. But Ike, that's not... I know, I'm not, I'm not strong enough. An opponent who could defeat my father is well beyond my reach. But that's why I have devoted myself to growing stronger. Alright, I will lead my father's mercenaries and prepare for the day when my chance for revenge arrives. A prudent course of action. You look as one who would be more impulsive, but you are, but you are Grail's son after all. Ah, you've matured, Ike. It seems like yesterday that you were merely a child. Titania. Now, and now I would ask a boon of you. The strength of your mercenary band, Ike, would you lend it to Princess Alincia? Are you serious? King Canagus? Uh, damn it, I said the fucking name. Galia and Crimea are allied nations. That cannot be denied. However, this alliance and reality binds only the royal families. It's not respected by our citizenry. People of Galia are seldom seen in Crimea, are they? Even though our nations are friends, the people of Crimea have little real understanding of the Lagus. Many of our people still use that undignified name, subhuman, when they speak of the Lagus. My father's heart was filled with shame and sorrow over what you describe. More than any king in our history, he wants to deepen relations between our people, and then... Perhaps that is why Dane targeted him. Their hatred of the Lagus is well known. Could it be? In my heart of hearts, I would like to take guardianship of Princess Alincia and assist in the rebuilding of Crimea. However, anti bjork sentiment is running high here in Gallia. If we were to offer safe harbor to Alincia, I feel many of our elder statesmen would protest. They would say they we are giving Dane an ideal excuse to attack. Which means Gallia can't offer Princess Alincia any relief at all, is that it? Unfortunately, it is true. My lord Ike, the Lion King has advised me to turn to the Begnion Theocracy for aid in Crimea's restoration. He says we should make of Begnion a formal request and gain the support of their shields. Passage to Begnion will require several months at sea. An escort will be necessary. As you know, we lack the numbers to serve as a complete mercenary army. So if the princess were willing to hire us an escort, it would be an off offer beyond our expectations. Titania, Soren, I think perhaps you should accept the king's offer. What do you say? It's what you want, right, Commander? Well then, it's our job to follow you. However you wish to proceed is fine. I will do all in my power to ensure that our rule leads to success. Understood. As of now, the Grail Mercenary shall assume the honor of serving as escort to the Princess of Crimea. Princess Alincia, our journey together will undoubtedly be a long one. May we serve you well. Oh, thank you very much. I only pray that I, in turn, may be worthy of your service. Yeah, 260 there. Oh yeah, that's the end of that chapter. Well, remember when I said these videos want I want these videos to be shorter? Well, that certainly didn't turn out well. But anyway, yeah, that's enough of this. So next time on the Fire Emblem Path of Radiance Let's Play, we're gonna be heading towards chapter ten. We're gonna be heading our on our way towards Begnion. Sort of. See you guys then. Bye bye.